Hey folks, it's just me putting out another video raising awareness on a situation that I think needs to be out there, and I know I've done a lot of this in the past, but considering who it's for, I believe it is legitimate. Recently, Bronny Buck released a video titled Bronny Buck's New Life, in which he discusses his troubling situation. He's been traveling around the country hoping to get his career moving, and just a few years ago, he needed to move back to his folks, where his psychotic and idiotic brother actually tried to kill him the first day he was back. He's kind of a drug addict. He tried getting his folks to disown him for causing trouble, but they just allow his brother to keep stealing, and they even give him money. They're basically enabling his ability to get drugs, even bailing him when he gets in trouble, which I cannot fathom. It's not as bad as the keyframe situation was, but it seems like a very similar manner. They literally kicked Brawny out into the street earlier this year just so that they could shelter his messed up brother, and because he was already having a hard time finding work in between making videos, not to mention his northern friends left him behind, you could imagine how badly this was affecting him. He literally forced himself to fix his car to get out of state moving to Florida, where he now is with people who support him better. Unfortunately, he still has many debts that need to be paid off, which he's having a hard time doing on his own. Which, I think, was a side effect of him having to move across the country after dealing with his dumbass, weak-ass family. And being placed in a situation where he has to rebuild his whole life from the ground up. I mean, he moved to Florida from New York, and I've heard beforehand that living there is already expensive. And he still has to pay bills left over from back there. He has set up a GoFundMe where the goal is to reach $5,000 to progressively pay off all of his debts while finding a personal residence for himself. Now, I know Bronny Buck well enough. I've worked with him. I did a collab with him, which I still think is one of the best videos either of us have done. We put a lot of time and discussion into making it, and I was very satisfied with how it came out. We both were. Even outside of that, I know he is a very supportive and caring companion. We've spoken on Skype before in group chats, and he was there for me during my... first impression videos. He was giving me some nice advice, and I imagine that over the years he's done that for many other people with his videos. I can tell he is a very well-meaning person, very kind-hearted and selfless, and very supportive, and he even has a good sense of humor. He even recently did a video with Dr. Wolf discussing Depp, and it's really fascinating listening to how he speaks his mind on these kinds of things. He's also improved in terms of letting people know when he's going through these kinds of things, which I believe is good personal progress on his end. At this time, his GoFundMe is about halfway done, but it still needs some more support. If you can't donate personally, I ask that you spread awareness in any way you can. It would be greatly appreciated. You don't know how much this would mean to him, and it would really mean something to me. Thanks for watching, and I'll give this video the time that it needs to gain attention because I think Bronny needs the help at this moment. My review of A Health of Information will be out sometime next week. Until next time, take care.